Yo, what's up guys? It's the Elephant, and I am going to be attempting the random hand challenge. So this is a challenge that a couple other YouTubers have done before with their Top Drives account, and it's basically, you play the boss in every one of these campaign levels, and you try to see how far you can get. So usually most people get stuck at USA because it's all off-road, but we're going to see how far we can get. Maybe we can get past USA and then maybe beat the entire challenge, but you got to be very lucky then if you want to win the random hand challenge. So here we go. There's going to be another rule too. If I get one of the cars I have unlocked, which are one of these four, I then reset the hand again just to throw something else interesting into it. So if any four of these cars show up in my hand, which are basically my four fuse material cars, then I have to reset the hand again. So here we go. Starting off with the first level, this one shouldn't be too bad. Yeah, we already got like a very solid hand as well. So let's just put that there, that on the rain. And yeah, it doesn't really matter where we place them for this one, especially since we just got three epics. So first couple of levels should be easy, but then right once we get off-road starting being thrown at us, or the opponents start to get harder, it's going to get much trickier. So there's Midlands done. Now we're going on to France. Okay, this doesn't seem too bad either. So we'll probably put you on the city streets small, that on 0 to 100, city streets medium. That works and that works. So yeah, this should be pretty easy as well, especially since we got the banana, which is a great car. So, oops. So yeah, this shouldn't be too bad. Yeah, 200 points right there. I do want to see though, if my Chevy SSR wins against the rare, because I know that rare has like surprisingly good MRA and I know that the Chevy SSR has zero MRA. So I do want to see if the Chevy SSR does end up winning this race because we have insanely good zero to 60, but is a rolling start. Yeah, I guess the MRA just isn't enough to keep up. They did reach a higher top, they did reach a higher speed than us when the drag ended. So they might have passed us like if the drag was even longer than a one mile, but it wasn't. And the van actually does win there as well. So pretty nice, another three star. Okay, on to the next one, which is USA. So USA shouldn't be too much of an issue either. And we got an American car with the Malibu. So let's do that. That'll win on test bowl probably. The Z4 should win there. Yeah. And the Nazca will flatten on the one mile, so it doesn't really matter that the Malibu will lose. So it is getting a bit trickier now. We are losing one race. I'm pretty sure, because the Malibu should lose to the Impala. But this is a win. Oh, that was actually pretty close. We just had better brakes, so we were able to, we were able to brake quicker. Okay, yeah, but this is a loss. The Impala was actually... I mean, the Malibu was actually looked like catching up to the Impala. Then the Chrysler Falcon does win here. We have much better 0-60. to And then the Nazca will win here, even though the Nazca doesn't have MRA. It still has great 0-60. to We've gotten the Nazca twice now, which is pretty interesting. Okay, on to the next one. If it keeps giving us the Nazca, I'd be happy with that, because that's a great car. So, did we get a Japanese car? We did. We got the Suzuki. So, here we go. We'll put that there. We'll put that there. Then, karting circuit. Slalom test. Karting circuit twisty circuit so we should actually win all these races i think there will be a few close ones but we should win them all because the challenger concept wins here that's pretty obvious it's a maxed ultra rare then we also got the bmw m1 which is a pretty useful one it might be a bit hard to use a bit more down the road but it will be good for now chrysler air flight as well does win here it is getting a little scary though that we haven't gotten too many off-roader cars even though there's any off-road yet it might be a bit of an issue when we do get to the ones like the one where you need the hill climb and I've crashed the game. Okay, so now we're back after the game crashed because the game has a ton of bugs, but basically we beat that one, so that's not too bad. Time for Germany now. This one shouldn't be too much of an issue, I think. Yeah, no, we did get two off-roaders now, but now I don't really need them, except we should be fine because we win the 50 to 150. Then we'll just put that on Carpook. City Street's medium will probably be fine for the Windsor. And then City Street's small, we have our legendary Cayenne. So, that Windsor could have been a bit of an issue further down the road, but it should be fine. Yeah, we still three-star anyway, even after losing 118 points with the Windsor. And so that's Germany. Now we're on to Finland. It's mixed. So hopefully some off-road? No, we do have a standard tire car, though, but... Hmm... I wonder if this will end the run right here. 0 to 120. Then we can win that. I wonder if we'll get disqualified with the Alpha. I mean, that would probably be better if the Alpha could just get disqualified. So we'll have to see. Because hopefully my El Camino does good here. Gets us a good amount of points. Yeah, 163. Okay, that's good. 
then our Volvo should win here. Yep, which is nice. Maybe a bit of bonus points. Come on, Volvo. Yep, 93k. We're making a bit of distance, especially if the Alpha gets disqualified, but I'm not sure if cars get disqualified on Frozen Lake. So we'll have to see. Renault Megane will only get 50. Uh, oh, okay, we're fine. Alpha only lost 247 points, and the Opal OBC Extreme will win here. So we are good. We're still going strong. Okay, but now next up is Columbia, and Columbia is a tricky one because there is a hill climb. Give me a hill climb car. Okay, we're good. We got the Colorado. So, Safe Street Small should be fine there. That, that, and that. So it all just depends on how many points the Colorado loses, but the Colorado is a pretty decent hill climb car. It's not like crazy good like that um, G63 or I don't know, that G-Wagon. I'm not sure if it's a G63. It's a G-Wagon though. Fiat Uno Turbo does get enough points right here. C8 Perleator, great car for the one mile, wins there. Well, it's actually not like too great, that's 80 MRA, but it's the best option for the one mile with what, we wor what we're working with right now. And the Scirocco wins there. Now, I don't think the Colorado will lose um, 422 points. Yeah, it shouldn't. It should lose like 200. 139. Okay, that's fine. Because the G500, it wasn't a G63, does get a lot of points. But now, here we go. This is basically the make or break point, USA. Let's see if we can get through it. So, we need two four-wheel drives. So, we can't do that because we only have one four-wheel drive. We would have been screwed. Actually, yeah, we probably still would have been screwed with that hand. Okay, this one, no, still no, we've got that patrol again. This one, we have zero four-wheel drives. I mean, can we work with this? Maybe. Maybe we can actually work with this. Put that on the drag. Wonder if we can win that G-Force test. Or maybe that's all. I don't know. I'm going to give this a few tries. Because I feel like maybe, just maybe, I can win this. Okay, 80 points from the Spiker. That's not too great. Then the Lotus. Oh, the Lotus actually wins here. Okay, 125 points from the Lotus. I was not expecting that. Then the Windsor should win here. Yes, which is good. Now, it all just depends on how much the AMG GT loses. That is a big number. So now, it all comes down to if the CTS Coupe can win on the wet G-Force test. And it looks like it. We're actually getting past USA. We might be able to beat this. Okay, so we beat USA. Now it comes down to UK London. It's mixed. Give us a bit of... Oh, gosh. Okay. Oh, no, we don't, we don't have two UK cars. Okay. Oh, that would have been a solid hand. Okay. Oh, well, that was an unlocked car anyway, so... Oh, please tell me there isn't two UK. Good. I wouldn't have been able to do very good with two commons, or one common. UK? Dang it. That is only one UK. Um, nope, that's not enough either. They're not giving us two UK cars. Is that enough? No, that's got the unlocked car in it anyway. Um, zero British cars in that hand. They're like making it suspenseful. That's not enough. We have an American car. That's not enough either. That's good. This hand doesn't work either. We have zero UK cars. Come on, man. Just give us a hand. There we go. Okay. So let's see what we can do with a common. So test bowl. Mm hmm. This will be a bit interesting. So test bowl. We could throw the common down and sacrifice it. Then go for a big amount of points on that. Win that and lose that. So let's try this, or I have another idea where I throw the Continental on the Test Bowl. But I think this might be good enough. Because we shouldn't lose this by too many, I'm assuming. Come on, only, yeah, only 67. And we shouldn't lose the Test Bowl too badly. Okay, that's actually pretty bad. But... Now it all just depends on this. So the TVR does win here. And, oh yeah, we should win this last race because we have the Cayman, right? Yeah, the Cayman. And the Cayman will win on the Rallycross Small Circuit. So there we go. We're still going strong. It's a little sketchy, but we're going. 
Okay, this is open match, so whatever we get. Okay, can I work with this? I think I can. I think I should be fine with this. So I'll put that there. That'll win that. That'll win that. That'll win that. And then I'll just sacrifice the Bentley on the carding circuit. That should be fine. Because yeah, 84 points here, and the Bentley shouldn't lose at least 200. I feel like. And we might get a bit of bonus points here. Not only 50, because that Mercedes has good MRA. But we're still going. Alfa Romeo hopefully wins here. Right? Yep. Okay. Another win by 50. And then we should probably get some bonus points here. 108. Okay. So I don't think our Bentley should lose 292 points on the karting circuit. Yeah, only 153. Okay. So, still going. We got past Italy. Now we are on to Germany. It's on road again, so just give me a good hand. That I can work with as well, I think. Because we'll put that there. Do we drop you on the solemn, or you on the solemn, or you on the twisty? I think we'll do that, that. Because it really just then depends on if the Uno Turbo can win there, but I feel like it should be able to. Put you on the twisty circuit and you on the solemn test. So I think this should be good. Grand Sport gave me some points, nice. Okay, it all just really depends on if the Fiat Uno Turbo can win that. Because we shouldn't lose, like, too much. Yeah, only 51. So that's fine. It all just really comes down to if the Uno Turbo can win this. We have five more handling, and we're much lighter. So, yeah, the Audi Quattro cannot catch up when on the straight. So there we go. SLC wins here, and a bit of bonus points. Yep, 93. And then we should... We lose here, but not by too much. Yeah, only 50. So we're still going. Going strong. Germany has been beaten. Now it's time for UAE. It's mixed. Give us an off-roader. Okay, we have a truck and a common. Oh, and it's a... I mean, it's a decent hill climb car, I guess. Wait, that's one of the unlocked cars. I can't use that hand. Okay, so this is a bit better, I feel like. I mean, we can win that. Do we go for the disqualification on the hill climb? I feel like maybe that's the play. Because then we win that. We win that. We lose that. And then we get DQ'd there. I don't know. We can try. If, I'm going to try a few things. Because that's only a win by 50. And then we'll probably lose to the Maybach. Yeah, only by 56 though, which is good. Then hopefully we destroy the Corvette. Only 55k. We did not destroy the Corvette. And we're not going to get enough bonus points from this, that's for sure. 135. And then we are getting disqualified on that. So, hmm. Let's try something else. We could do that. Get disqualified there. Win. 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 This might be the way to go, actually. This might work, because Volkswagen CC wins by 50. We already know that. Then the Miara Roadster can hopefully win with the MRA. Okay, nice. The Miara Roadster does win with the MRA. Then we get disqualified here. That's okay. Because then it all just depends on how many hill climb points we get and how many points we get right here. So we've already taken the lead. So yeah, it all just depends on if we win this hill climb, which we should. Hopefully Acadia Denali win this. Yep, okay, that gives us 126 points as well. So there we go. We were able to beat UAE on to Japan. Now there's three off-roads in this one. Oh, I do not want to purchase gold. So off-road cars? Not really. Hmm, this might be where the run ends. I think this might be the run ender. And then we use you there. Yeah, I feel like this might be where the run ends, because we did not get very good pulls for our off-roaders, so we came close, but not close enough, because yeah, the Porsche will lose by, oh yeah, yeah, this is the run ender, <laughs> I did not get enough good off-roaders, I didn't really even get an off-roader, I got a Lancia with four-wheel drive, but we made it past USA, 
we got decently oh yeah even the lancia gets flattened okay so that's basically it that ends the run right here i do want to see though if maybe i could have gotten further if i would have gotten better pulls like let's see also what the hand would have been then one off for oh no that's an unlocked car we got the unlocked car again okay we i probably could have won with this hand but oh well i did not get lucky enough Okay, what about in America? If could I have won with this? I mean, I could have done like something like that. That. Except I wouldn't have really been able to. I mean, I don't really think I could have beaten this either with that hand. And what would have been our Monaco hand if we got it? Oh yeah, I, I bet I could have beaten Monaco with this because that would have won there. That would have won there. That could have gone there. Or actually, I might have lost this as well. I don't really know, it all just depends. But we got knocked out on Japan. But we got pretty far, actually. We've gotten a lot farther than I've seen. I'm pretty sure a few people have probably beaten it. But I actually got a lot further than I expected. So, I'd say it was, it was a success. Even though we didn't actually end up going all the way. But yeah, so that's basically gonna conclude it for this video. If you like this type of content, make sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell, do all that cool stuff. I'm Yellowfin, thanks for watching, goodbye.